Protest solely works on delicate grounds. The barbershop business he operates in Gong Township in the outskirts of Nairobi is yet to realize its full potential, and this is the reason why. Um, immediately, you find that most of the times the power is erupted or disrupted without a notice. Like people, the Kenya Power people are servicing the lines, you are never notified, and the power goes off. You don't have a generator, you will not do business for that day. Most sub Saharan countries face a major challenge in trying to achieve their development and social obligations. In addition, power utilities have by and large failed to provide adequate electricity services to majority of the region's population. We need to look at how can we decentralize our energy supply. We have a lot of wind energy in the country, and that is the way to go. The energy sector in most parts of Africa is characterized by lack of access, low purchasing power, low energy efficiency, and over-dependence on the traditional biomass for meeting basic energy needs. The need to turn to renewable energy sources is imminent, and wind energy is proving to be a vital source. There is a, a potential, but obviously... Kenya in particular is not a relatively weird country. But we have what you call weed, weed corridors, areas in the country whereby there is a lot of weed. While wind farms currently exist predominantly in North Africa, sub-Saharan countries are slowly embracing wind farm establishments. Kenya's Ngong Wind Farm is a $15 million project with an estimated annual production of 12 gigawatts per hour. Wind energy production primarily depends on wind speed and how the winds are changing during the day or season. The blades begin to turn when wind speeds reach 13 feet per second, hence powering the turbines, which in turn produce up to 850 kilowatts of power each. They do not uh, destroy our environment. That's the big, the big thing about them. There's no destruction to our environment. And uh, secondly, as I said, <coughs> it's, 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 it's easily available. According to the Global Wind Energy Council, the largest share in wind energy production in Africa is held by Egypt with a total capacity of 550 megawatts. In Morocco, the wind energy capacity is around 290 megawatts, while in Tunisia the annual wind production amounts to 120 megawatts. It is estimated that 64% of Africa's population have no access to electricity, with majority of this population living in rural areas. However, the script reads different for residents of Figio village in Lemuru, Kenya where the local parish has installed a wind generator for them. It means that we are never without electricity because if the KPLC goes, we have the backup of the solar and the windmill. The major electricity demand sectors are industry, commerce and households. Therefore, to achieve energy security in Africa, there is a need to tap the potential of cost-effective energy efficiency. It's widely recognized that the availability of a modern, efficient, and reliable energy service is an essential driver for economic development. Wind energy through the provision of a wind farm like this will not only complement but address the inadequacies and fill gaps in Africa's energy sector. Kevin Midigo, CCTV, Adengong Wind Farm in Kenya.